Am 29. Juli 2015 was the starting date. The billion dollar company Microsoft started, as announced, generally giving away for free the new operating system Windows 10. Anyone already using Microsoft systems Windows 7 or 8 received the generous offer to upgrade and install Windows 10 free of charge. Many owners of Windows computer systems find a button down on the right side of the taskbar with the Windows logo. If you click there, you'll be motivated and guided through the update. You'll receive Windows 10 worth $135 for free. This computer is compatible. The new operating system is brilliant, with so many functions, which are supposed to make our lives easier. Windows 10 includes a uniform platform for synchronizing all types of computer equipment with each other, whether smartphone, tablet, home computer, laptop or game console. Aside from this, Microsoft promises more security against threats from the Internet, etc. So the first impression is, wow, a big step in technology, development, and that for free. We'll ask the question today, together with you, what is behind this gift from Microsoft? Can we blindly trust this upgrade? Or is Microsoft trusting in our blindness? To come right to the point, our research results and tests in practice are really shocking. Whoever does not just click on continue blindly while installing it, but actually reads through the data security provisions and contracts will quickly see statements like this. For we will make use of personal data, publicize them and save them including private content, like the contents of your emails and other private communication or files in private folders. If we believe this is necessary for complying with laws or giving answers in court cases, including to prosecuting authorities or other state institutions. Everything clear? This does not need further explanation. It clearly states that your private data, like Word documents, emails, photos, etc., can be used in good faith, in other words, at random, at the mercy of Microsoft, if they deem it necessary for observing the law. The following points make it unmistakably clear that Windows 10 is a targeted means for reaching the goals of total control and total surveillance of citizens and rendering the user transparent. Microsoft is not only evaluating your personal data, but also, for example, every typed and every handwritten entry, the location of every computer, all website addresses used, all contacts to other people, as well as articles purchased, especially music and movies. Aside from this, Microsoft has the possibility to activate your microphone, webcams, or other cameras connected to your computer without permission any time from outside. So as the German Consumer Protection Initiative in Rhineland confirmed, the new Windows 10 transforms your computer into a private spying device. Even though there are certain user possibilities to install security measures, these are ignored in essential points. What is Microsoft collecting all this data for? According to their own claims, the collected data is only used for improving the technical systems. Aside from this, though, Microsoft profits immensely financially with user data. Marketing and legal expert from Rhineland's Consumer Protection Agency, Christian Gollner, confirmed this, saying, Consumers' digital equipment is becoming more and more of a product in itself and being marketed. For example, user data allows insight into our habits, needs and purchasing power. So advertising and offers can precisely be fitted to the interests of the user. Aside from this, the data is passed on to third parties, stated Gollner. Is financial profit really Microsoft's real goal? IT experts from all over the world see the financial profits as mere pocket change for Microsoft. In the framework of the actual goal, total control and surveillance over all humanity. That is why renowned news portal Technological Smartphone News calls Windows 10 the free spying tool of the NSA and uncovers facts proving that Microsoft and the Secret Service are working together. Valued viewers, with these points in mind, what seems like a great gift from the company transforms into a Trojan horse.
In computer language, when something is described as a Trojan horse, it's something that's disguised as useful, but in reality, without the user's knowledge, it serves a different purpose. With Windows 10, this means total surveillance of the user. Already the preceding versions to Windows 10 were studied under the microscope by Technological Smartphone News. Windows 8 supposedly has a so-called built-in backdoor for the U.S. Secret Service, NSA, which supposedly allows access to computers. I quote the platform. Even though Microsoft vehemently denies this, in the meantime it cannot be ignored or explained away. Current experts' voices to Windows 10 show us again clearly. We are living in an age where total surveillance is being pushed through rapidly, orchestrated by leading corporations and a still obscure economic and political network. Unfortunately, all of this is still done under the guise of making our lives easier. That is why you should always be critical when it comes to innovations by big software companies and inform yourselves on independent platforms about the big picture and correlations behind the developments. As an alternative to Windows, the Technology Magazine recommends changing to the independent operation system Linux. According to the testimony from his father, Linus Torvald, the inventor of open source operation system Linux, has up until now been able to withstand the U.S. Secret Service request that he install backdoors in his operation system. We will have to wait to see if this is the truth. To summarize, specialists strongly advise not to update your computer to Windows 10. Do not save any sensitive data on a computer with Internet access and do not allow the use of your data by any software producer whenever this is possible. Stay tuned. We will continue to research information to this issue, including how you can shut down the surveillance monitor, Windows 10, in case you have already installed it.